Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are about to kick off Chapter 2, The Siege of Spinner K, and see what the hell is going on after that cliffhanger at the end of Chapter 1. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's jump straight back in and continue on with the story in Chapter 2. Uh, yes, we're ready to start a new game. And we're going to see what happens next. I wonder if we'll get a little recap like some of the later Telltale titles do. Or if we're going to just jump straight back in. Ooh, what's this? It has been said what fates impose that men must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Oh, now I quite Guy liked that. Wood. I've been waiting a long that was a nice little recap this. system. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is Fear oh. Across the Seven Seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought. Wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Wolf? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. <laughs> you fight like a cow. Oh! oh what? Who's using that? Oh, this is gonna be good. She Pick up your sword and off. face me like a man. Like your man or like I'm a man? I'm God. <laughs> oh God. Okay, straight into the action. How did you get on my ship? How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Ah, I wonder if we can do something with that. Uh, what do we have around here? Uh, this is rope and a barrel of fish. We'll put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck, in order to keep me from breaking it. Can we do something to the rope? rope are securing that barrel in place. Okay, what about this the cannon? Isn't pointed at her. Besides, any of things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. But it is the type of thing you would probably do. Being guy brushing all. Um, the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Yes, I know what a mast is. Oh, thank you, genius. Okay, can we get to the plank? That thing isn't very well secured. Okay, so maybe we can get another plank. Oh, that seagull's eating the hand. There's the hook. I can't reach it from here. Maybe we've got to put the hook on. I can't reach it from here. Okay, right. Let's try talking to her. Uh, where is Winslow, you salty sea witch? Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch. He's fine. I've just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can <laughs> wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. I'm sure you can. Ah, now we're over here. So can we get the hook now? You climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. 
You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah? Well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Can we use the hook? Oh, look, we've still got the stick, the parrot, the locket, and the eye of the manatee. Can we use the hook on anything? I'm a little too busy for that right now. Can we use the hook on anything? Never mind. Maybe the plank? Everything isn't very well secured. Okay, so... Can we perhaps use the hook to get the barrel of fish? That's what I'm thinking. Uh... I think the mean lady trying to cut off my limbs takes precedence over navigating my ship right now. Besides, there's no one well, at the wheel. Well, true. Okay, uh... Can we do anything hey, to the get hand? Off my hand, stupid bird. No. Okay, let's try talking to her again. Aren't you getting tired yet? Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. <laughs> ten. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Exactly. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. Nope. It's all true. Tried and tested. Ooh, cable. I bet that line could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. Aha! Can we use the hook? Aha! Yes, we can. Ha ha! Try and catch me now. Bet you didn't see that move coming. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> right now she's up here. Uh, we've got this rope. Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. No, it's supposed Did to it let work? the fish fall down. No. Dang. Uh, barrel of fish. Hmm. Is someone messing with my barrel? I put that up there for a reason, you know. Sorry. Can we use the stick on it? I need another hand to be able to do that. My good one is busy keeping me from dying. Oh, do we need the other hand? Like, our proper hand? Maybe use the hook on it. too busy for that right now. Hmm, okay. Uh, why are you taking orders from that Desange guy, anyway? are you taking orders from that Desinge guy anyway? He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. Renowned? I didn't even realize I was now. <laughs> so how do we get these fish down? That's what I want to know. Um... Can we do anything to it up there? I need another hand to be able to do that. My good one is busy keeping me from dying. Okay, so... I think Winslow put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck. Or to keep me from breaking it. Can we combine... What happened to the rope? Did it just fall on the floor? The cannon isn't pointed at her. Besides, aiming at things actually on my ship is probably not a good idea. Okay, um, got the quarters door. Are you okay? Well, well, sir, I'm sure I'll be up with these ropes and out to help you in no time. Okay, it's got to be something to do with getting over there, right, to the seagull. Maybe we've got to knock the fish down to distract the seagull. How are we going to do that, though? Can't we just agree to disagree? Can't we just agree to disagree? Not going to happen. Oh. Is it something to do with seagull? Hey, shoot, get away. Okay. Oh no, it's coming back. Okay, we've got to do something with the fish, haven't we? Well, that thing isn't very well secured. Can we thing isn't very well secured. Do anything when she steps that thing forward. Isn't very well secured. What can we do to unsecure it further? A little too busy for that right now. 
Hmm, okay. Can we use the stick on it? A little too busy for that right now. No, right, okay. Back off, woman. Never! Perhaps we've got to do something up on the wheel bit. Can we actually move the wheel? Yeah, I think we can. Ah, there we go. So now the fish barrel's there. Oh man, if that barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. It's better than being dead though, right? Uh, okay. Can we... Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. <laughs> Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated! With Good old breath, insult sword sure fighting. <laughs> I love it. Little Easter egg. Okay, let's get across again. Look behind you! A three-headed sea chip! No thanks, I've already had lunch. Oh, that's taking it too far. <laughs> is that such a thing? I guess there is some sort of etiquette. Right, seagull, go get some fish. Shoot. Right, there we go. It's a red herring. <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Bye bye. Ah! You are good, guy brush threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Oh, she got our hand. Captain Threepwood, where is the lass? <laughs> Run her through and use her for fish bait. Uh, she's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. <laughs> oh, I love They're it. not going far with the mast in that shape. The coward what shape? Cutthroat must have released a counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. No, it's oh. correct. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Whoops. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Yeah, I know. I've seen it, man. Uh, okay, so. That weather vane's up there now. The weather vane looks good up there. Doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. <laughs> so. Kaboom! I never get tired of that. It's quite cool. I won't lie. Uh, so. Can we talk to Winslow? Mr. Winslow? Yes, Captain? Uh, where are we headed? Where are we headed? Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as you point out a location on the map, we can set sail. Okay. Uh, how's the mast holding up? How's the mast holding up? Ah, yes. Nice to see you're finally taking an interest in your nautical mistress, Captain. My what now? <laughs> you must treat your ship as if it were your lover. Attend to her uh. every need. Cater to her every whim. And should something be amiss, like, say, a large crack in her mast, you must see to it that she immediately get the attention she needs. You're yeah, talking about um, the screaming narwhal. Yes, and your lady is injured. We need to get her repaired as soon as possible. We'll be sailing at half speed until then. Fair enough. Uh, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. It's nice to finally have a loyal crew, right? Every crew we've had before has screwed us over. Uh, ooh. We have a choice. Oh no, we, we said we were going to the Jerkbait Islands, didn't we? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Here we go, Jerkbait Islands. I like the map and deciding where to go. It reminds me of the uh, Monkey Island 2 map. Quite cool. Do you like it? Very reminiscent of that game. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? 
Hi, Captain. Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Oh, look at this place. Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Uh, well... <laughs> uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right. We need okay. a plastic pair. Got it. <laughs> mermaid. Plastic pair. <laughs> The music just never gets old, does it? It just brings back that nostalgia every time I hear it. Ooh, check out the music in this place. No fishing. No fishing. I guess they're pretty clear on the rules. Hey, what's that island over there? Uh, so we've got our hook and everything. What else can we do? Let's take a look around town. What's this statue? I had an Ooh. aunt who looked a lot like that. What? Oh dear. Who's that up there? Hey, look at this. Hi, sailor. Ah. Oh, take <laughs> it easy. A big, strong pirate like yourself? Afraid of a little old bikini like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, are you a mermaid? So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud of Akalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings yeah, you to Yeah, the tail. Okay? I'm looking for my wife Elaine. Have ever heard of a man named DeCarver? Cool raft, can I ride it? Do you know where I can get my mast repaired? Let's try that first. Do you know where I can first. get my mast repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow oh, the good. path and it'll take you right there. Excellent. Um, I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. Uh, you saw Elaine with some other guy? You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. <laughs> but Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber, got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. It's obviously the truck. Okay, ever hear of a man named DeCava? Ever hear of a man named DeCava? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean Crazy Sponge Guy? Yeah, I crazy remember him. Crazy Sponge Guy. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. I haven't seen him yeah. in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Row Island. Interesting. Cool raft. Can I ride it? Cool raft? Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I yes. do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself Aww. a transit pass. Uh, where can I get one? Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, in the Royal Chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Uh, okay. I gotta I run. Gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. <laughs> I love this place already. It's great. Uh, what is this? Give some sort of lamp. It's Elaine. We'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Maybe we'll move on to your innits and tear those to pieces Look at you overgrown tadpole. Please, calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Gawain! Guybrush! We found a... Uh... Thank goodness you're alright. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was <laughs> the spell was misspelled, the breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! <laughs> your hand! Yeah. What, what exactly? What happened to your hand? 
And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, oh. well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I'd better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. Oh, is that the one from I Curse? Lose it, guy brush three quid. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? <laughs> it's me, guy brush three quid. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> yes, little parrot. Oh, Glowy, what's the statue? Hey, this fishy-looking guy still has one glass eye. Ooh. Why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? Yeah, it's kind of weird. What's the deal with this? I what it's like to see through the eyes of a fish. Whoa, everything is all magnified and bulgy. Awesome. Hmm, maybe we can combine that with something later on. Let's go up and see what these guys are arguing about. Let's see if we can do anything about it. That guy is infected. Uh, hot tub controls, royal throne. McGillicutty. So, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pups. I don't know anything about that. Uh, and these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up. Do they? they? Never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicutty. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your <laughs> blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. Uh, what's this about a cure? What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak <gasps> up La Sponge energy. Grande. La Sponge Grande. Yes, but to find the Sponge Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye, and that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. Uh, okay, what are these summoning things? You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in right. the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? <laughs> the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are come behind, and the ceremony of ritual words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. Uh, what are these legendary sea creatures? What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of the only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm going to shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts. I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. He's got a pox. He can't be, you know, reasoned with. Um, do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vakalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catcher today, come suck! <laughs> oh my... word. I thought you worshipped wind gods. I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. Fair enough. Uh, that raft by the docks looks like fun. I noticed a cool wreck down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Yeah, if that's you what that money. is. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing nice. my part to support the economy, you know? All right. Yeah, Thanks, for that. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lady <Boo. laughs> Have any of you ever heard of Coronado de Carver? any of you ever heard of Coronado de Cava? I was told to look for him here and show him a locket. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. 
But I have not seen him around Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. I doubt it. gave him the summoning items, I swear. I'll gut every one of you! This guy has a real obsession with gutting, doesn't he? Peacefully. Okay, um... Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. My brush. We can't leave. Uh... Don't worry, I'll pee first. Don't worry, I'll make sure to go to the bathroom before we start the long trip home this time. These pirates <laughs> are acting under the influence of the pox. And since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pox, this conflict is really all our fault. We're gonna stick around and clean up this mess. Oh. But I can handle things here, but you've got to get your hands... Uh, sorry, I mean, you've got to get hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. But McGillicuddy's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead, and I've got the chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. Uh, la what? La ha? La who? Uh, la who? The chuck? You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe LeChuck, fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate LeChuck, as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. Uh, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Uh, no. Nope. Pretty please with marshmallows? Uh, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But I'm your wife. No. No. Please? <laughs> Negative. Negative. Come on. Uh, fine. Uh, fine. So, you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I stall these guys? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each he get fell one for it. summoning item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? Give me the summoning item. Okay then, that is where we'll leave it. An interesting start to chapter two, and I cannot wait to see what happens next and figure out how to get these summoning artifacts. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.